Hi, my name is Dr. Manus. In this video, I will be providing a brief introduction to the role of values in consumer behavior. Let's get started. The email campaign by Uber in the background states safety and respect for all as two values that Uber encourages among their drivers and riders. The main concept of this video is that individuals have underlying values that often drive their motivations as consumers. One of the most well-known sets of values is the six pillars of character depicted in the background of the slide. These values were identified by a nonpartisan secular group of youth developmental experts in 1992 as core ethical values that transcend cultural, religious, and socioeconomic differences. Values indicate that some condition is preferable to its opposite. For example, if we consider trustworthiness as a value, it is preferable to being untrustworthy. Two people can exhibit the same behaviors for different reasons based on their differences in their underlying values. For example, two people may both participate in and exhibit vegetarianism, but their underlying values for engaging in vegetarianism may differ. One person may be vegetarian because they are an animal activist, whereas someone else may be vegetarian due to health reasons. All individuals have a set of core values. However, individuals may exhibit different value systems based on the relative importance or ranking of the universal values. Individuals learn and adopt values based on enculturation and acculturation. Enculturation is the process of learning the beliefs and behaviors endorsed by one's own culture, whereas acculturation is the process of learning the value system and behaviors of another's culture. We develop our value system through crescent norms, which are subtle or spoken norms or rules that we discover as we interact with others. There are three types of crescent norms, customs, mores, and convention. A custom is a norm or rule that controls basic behaviors. These are often handed down from prior generations, such as the division of labor in a household. As we grow up, we learn this by observing our family's division of labor. A moor is a norm or rule with a strong moral overtone. Often, these can denote things that are taboo or forbidden in a society, such as cannibalism. A convention is a norm or rule that regulates how we conduct our everyday lives. This is manifested in what individuals believe is the correct way to do something, such as the correct way to furnish or decorate a room, or the correct outfit to wear at a dinner party. Different individuals have different ideas of what is correct based on differences in their underlying value systems. Instrumental values are the means by which we achieve our end goals, whereas terminal values are defined as our end goals. Our instrumental values can translate to our terminal values. So instrumentals values of being ambitious could lead to our end goal of having a comfortable life. Whenever we have an instrumental value of being cheerful, that could lead to our terminal value of achieving world peace. That concludes the video on the role of values and consumer behavior. If you would like to learn more about values or learn more about other consumer behavior topics, please watch my other videos. If you have questions, please feel free to email me at kmanus at nmsu.edu. Bye-bye.